Okay, hopefully y'all don't fall. But anyways, I just want to come on here and say that I didn't pass my test the first time. So, backstory. I got a DOT officer tested with me. I had a DOT officer, number one. So imagine an op imagine a state trooper in a vehicle with you while you're trying to take your permanent test. Anyways, but I wasn't bothered by her. Okay, so I had a DOT officer. I had to do a straight back, fine, boom, did that. I had to do a, I believe a blindside offset, boom, did that, no problem. Then I had to do a 90. The 90, I just could not figure it out. I could not figure it out. So on test day, I almost had it. I was this close. I was this close to almost having it. But I made the mistake of pulling up, like centering my tires, pulling up. And instead of turning left, like hard left, I backed up straight, which I was not supposed to do. And I now know this. But anyways, so I failed on that. But I got a perfect pre-trip. I had the 90, a DOT officer, and a full pre-trip. All of my other classmates had partials, okay? They had partials. But anyways, I when I tell you all I had to fight for my life, I literally had to fight for my life. So with that being said, I retested on Thursday. I had the option of doing it on Friday or Thursday. And I was like, no, I need to get this over with. So let's do it on Thursday. Um... And also, I would have been really embarrassed if I failed on the pre-trip because that's I've been studying the pre-trip for so long and for so like so hard so much, you know. So if I would have failed on that, I would have been like, girl, what are you doing? So anyways, Thursday came. I passed. I passed. I even on Wednesday when I was preparing for Thursday, um, I was on the pad test like doing my maneuvers and stuff and I got all of them in the box I eventually got the 90 in the box twice and I don't know how to explain to like people that don't drive what a 90 is but it's basically this this is your truck this is your trailer and you want your trailer to go into the box you want to like like this into a box and it's just it's just a 90 degree like parking maneuver it is ridiculous. But anyways, on test day, I had a straight bag, a side side offset, and I had a blind side parallel. When would you ever park a, a parallel park an 18 wheeler? Let's think about that. Anyways, but I did it and I did my road test and I was freaking out because I had DOT with me again. And I was like, y'all, do y'all hate me? Like, do y'all hate me? So anyways, I did that. I was so happy when that was said and done. And I just knew I failed. I like, because I, I'm saying that because there was a part of the test when he was like, what was the weight of the bridge? I was like, I didn't see a sign. So then later on, I found out that they just be like, that's like a trick question. So yeah, so I was like, Lord have mercy, this man thing, and I'm not paying attention, and I'm trying my best, I got DLT, and then I was making like, like, right hand turns and stuff, I literally had DLT rising up out of the back like this, this, this is the driver, this is the, this is me, this is the examiner, this is DLT, she was like, out the windows, I said, man, put your seatbelt on. There's no seatbelts back there. But I was like, man, put your seatbelt on. What are you doing? Oh, like, you making me nervous. So then he was like, okay. So I pulled back into the terminal and he was like, okay, park the truck along the grass. So I did that. And I had to perform an emergency stop. Listen, <laughs> if I don't know my job by now. Anyways, so I had to do an emergency stop. And I thought I hit a curb because when I left, I heard... <sighs> But it was just the tires turning. That was it. But I thought I hit the curb. Listen, y'all. When I got out that truck, my body said, Whew. it literally felt like, it literally felt like I had an elephant sitting on my chest for four weeks. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? For four weeks, I felt like I had an elephant sitting on my chest. My chest was so tight. It was hurting on Wednesday. I was devastated on Tuesday, okay? When I found out I did not pass. When I found out I did not pass on Tuesday, 
that I could retake it on when, on Thursday. I was like, just listen. Okay. I said, I'm accepting it. It is what it is. Hallelujah. Um, your girl made it. She's officially a truck driver or she has her class A license. And I'm really proud of myself because that was the, that was a fight for my, what was that? That was a fight for my life. Okay. I literally fought tooth and nail, blood, literally sweat, literally tears, literally panic attacks is what I had these four weeks. Y'all better start appreciating truckers. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. The dark circles under my eyes, I already had dark circles before, but baby, I turned into a wreck hmm, this season. Yes, I did. Anywho's, and on top of that, the food out here is so bland. I thought Cracker Barrel was bland, but baby, Cracker Barrel got seasoning compared to these people. They talking about go to the world famous pasta place. Where? Where? I don't need it, but I'm just saying. Anyways, it was supposed to be a six minute long rant, but that's what I came on here to tell y'all. Okay, that's all I was trying to tell y'all. I passed on my second try. I got a, I thought I was gonna get a 90 again, but I didn't, thankfully. But even if I did, I figured it out kind of in a way how to do it, but yeah.